Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here, isn't it? Well, hope wherever you are, you are feeling safe and grounded and uh, ready for today's session. And uh, today we're going to be talking about misconceptions. So what is misconceptions? What am I doing, talking about today? We're going to be talking about misconceptions about the work that I do. And for those of you who do not know me, uh, by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant. Have a healing center here in Glendale, California called Heal Within. And how I got to heal within is truly because I believe I healed myself. And what better way to help others heal within? Hmm. So, hi, Diane. Hello, Patricia. No matter where you are, I hope you're having an incredible sun summer. And I know it's hot, but it's humid and it's... Mm. Today, I wanted to talk about how this, this entire thing started. Years and years ago, long time ago, there was a French psychologist by the name of Emile Cou, and he started this word association and affirmations called Every Day in Every Way I Feel Better Than Yesterday. So now we have changed it to every day in every way. I feel better than yesterday, but not as good as tomorrow. And if we can to take that and use that information and affirmation and reaffirm ourselves for whatever it is, then we can make changes. Why? Word association is so powerful. The things we say, um, what we say about ourselves and what we say about other people. They say, if you use something negative and if you are sitting and constantly blaming, criticizing, even self-criticism, which is truly one of the worst ways of inflicting more pain upon ourselves is I am not good enough, I can't do this, I have pain, I have this. So when we ask someone, what is it that you do and or how you feel, and if they start with the negativity, it already shows us the pattern of how they feel. So self-destruction is, is what I do, is I help my clients to raise their self-esteem and become more aware of the word associations that they have about themselves and everything that surrounds them. Now, one of the emails, I love these emails that people are sending to me. And Rosanna is sending an email saying something in... Uh, I believe it's a different language. I don't. I do not understand. But if it is a hello, I send my regards to you as well. Word association comes from the affirmations, self affirmations that we do. Instead of every day I feel better, if my word for the day is what a awful year has been, what an awful time it is, I have this pain in me, then we are reiterating this. Now, the email that came to me was asking me about the facts about hypnosis. Is hypnosis self-affirmations, self-talk? In a way, it is. Why? Because self-affirmations, what is it that uh, we have heard Everything that we repeat daily, day in and day out, the first person who hears it is us. We say it and our ears hear it before anyone else. Our body 
embeds that information. Every time we roll into that negativity, automatically we go into that. So in a way, hypnotic suggestions, when we hypnotize a client, is taking them into a state of relaxation. When in that state of relaxation, they feel open to suggestions, but not necessarily accepting them. Do you get it? So we can do the suggestions when someone is in hypnotic state, but it doesn't mean that it's going to happen automatically because there is that part of our subconscious mind that may reject those suggestions. But if we were to repeat it day in and day out, and you use the same affirmations and the same suggestions to yourself at night before you go to sleep, then it also lingers in your subconscious mind when you are in sleep state, which is another deep level of hypnosis. Of course, sleep is a deeper level, but hypnosis is, it's, it's hypnotic suggestions. So if you were to use recordings and CDs day in, day out, at the end of your day, before you go to sleep, your subconscious mind starts recording those belief systems. And soon you are changing your habits and affirmations. Let me give you an example. So for a person who comes in to break a habit of stop smoking and they want to become a non-smoker, suggestions incorporated during the session is very powerful. At night, they repeat or they listen to the hypnotic suggestions, the CD or the recording that I give them. And while they're listening to that, they go to sleep. Now, the part of the therapy is finding the causation of why they started the smoking. But again, if you were to continue listening to any suggestions day in, day out, that will also help you. Another misconception about hypnosis is it is a cure. It is not a cure. It may help you stop smoking, stop a habit or a behavior, but it's not a cure. So the same thing goes for any kind of a disease. If you were in hypnosis, will you be able to stand up or stop or can you stop the session at any time? Yes, you can. Because when you are in hypnosis, you are not asleep. You hear everything. And if there is any part that is uncomfortable, you easily can open your eyes. So if there is a misconception that you are out of control, that is not true. Because at all times, you're in full control. So another fact is that is when you are, another fallacy is that you are apt to do anything good or bad during hypnosis. That someone has, the hypnotist or the hypnotherapist has control over you. Again, it is not true. Because at any time you can stop the session, open your eyes, get up and walk out. What a hypnotherapist does is take you into a state of such deep relaxation. And the only time we can do so is with your consent. And for clients who bring their children, we always have a, the consent of the adult and consent of the child for them to understand that they are purely doing suggestions and for good reason. So why would a child be brought to a hypnotherapist? One, bedwetting after a certain age. Fears and phobias. Fears that are 
let's say, fear of darkness, fear of some kids have a Godzilla under their bed and they can't sleep. And those are small little things that we say, yes, it could heal its own and in time. And yet, just one or two sessions of hypnosis can help a child tremendously. Anxieties. Children that are in school with not so much a, a control issue, but that they have tantrum issues. Children who have anxiety, test anxiety, or any kind of an anxiety. We lessen the anxiety. So let me give you a sample of what I do. And I have said this before many, many times. We tap into our childlike. And as adults, we forget to be children. So this imagination that children have is so incredible. And, and that's the part we forget. We forget to be childlike. So children have this incredible imagination. And if it's a girl, they like to play with Barbie dolls or any kind of a doll, especially the children nowadays. Everything is computerized. Everything is right here, right? So we give them this concept of, especially boys with video games, watching a video game. And as they do, they go into this zone state and focus state and as they are playing this game imagine that there is a character that understands them that I'm sorry I'm looking at my hands instead of looking at you because when I do my sessions I become one with them there is nothing more powerful than imaginations so we form a character that will help them either in their game state in their sleep state or in their relaxed state right here, right now. With adults, it could be going to this place of just pure serenity and comfort for you. For children, is finding their angel, their wisdom, or this character that is gonna come and be their guardian angel, their, their protector, their um, warrior, to be there to be there with them the superhero so the world that we know as children is still so much burning inside us so when i work with children or with child like tantrums behaviors fears and phobias anxieties is to touch upon that child within us, the child that feels lonely, the child that feels alone, the child that feels not safe, the child within us. And within our child, there is a part, uh, not a partner, and a partner, and a parent. So I help the child within find the parent within themselves to help safeguard and sometimes I even create this incredible, um, invisible light that protects them and shields them. That they can encapsulate their energy and know that they are safe. So as adults, we find the safe place within us. Some, some find it in their home. Some find it at the ocean. Some find it at a beautiful hammock laying there and going side to side. Hmm? Children have this imagination. So a week ago, an incredible mother brought this child. And this 11-year-old thought that he was not as loved as his brother, older brother. So he had this angst against his older brother. But in a state of relaxation and working with him, 
when he revealed that, we also help bring this wise, incredible being that is always there to protect them and shift the mindset that mom and dad love him and each one is worthy of so much more. And for him to remember how much he is loved at so many different scenarios and times and how much his brother loves him and how much he loves his brother. And there is absolutely no competition. And one tear flowing. And for him to touch upon his heart and asking him, so if he were to safeguard himself and if his brother was sitting next to him, how would he safeguard he put his hands around himself as if hugging himself? And the moment he hugged, and I asked him, what is the one word that comes to him? He said, love. At that very moment, there was no magic. We don't need deep hypnotic state. That is to find their own words of wisdom for themselves. So the magic happens when we create this safe place for each individual. And that's what I do. It's not one issue that you come in for, but it is your whole being, your childlike, your adult, your wise person, your playful person. And it is our childlike self that is truly in our deepest level, our core. And that's the person I help awaken to meet the person that is sitting right here. And together, we always remember that there is also the child, the adult, and the parent within us. So I hope that if there is any misconception that I can instill a negative suggestion I want you to also know that the client or you can always negate that. Open your eyes, get up and say, no, thank you. Now, here's one thing. Sometimes the button that is pushed that makes it uncomfortable is exactly the button that needs to push to awaken us and say, wow, and this is the button I do want to steer. This is the button I do want to deal with. And that is the exact button that has kept us in that comfort zone, doing what we do over and over that is no longer beneficial to us. So if you have any question, if you have any suggestions, by all means, bring it on. I am here for you today, either about hypnosis, about behaviors, about habits. And if you continue a habit 33 consecutive days, yes, you can make that change. Start today. Start journaling anything that you want to do. And every time you find yourself being in that vortex or being in that cycle of negativity, stop for a second, take a nice deep breath, swallow your suggestions, swallow your saliva as if you just came to a stop sign and say 1001 1002 1003 <sighs> thank you body thank you mind thank you to, her, to my heart and when you start something with gratefulness believe it or not you just told every essence of who you are your nerve your body, your being, your, even your ears heard something different. And when you start smiling, there is no way you can be angry when you are smiling, when you are laughing. 
and I'm not talking about the fake one, but ha ha ha, in deep level, true joy. When you are dancing, when you are doing your Zumba, when you are exercising, every time you do something, <laughs> pour some water on top of you or ha just anything. Even if you were to play with something, I don't have anything here to play with. I don't. Uh, let me see. Do I have anything? Oh, I do. I do. My favorite game. And I play and I show this. It's incredible. It just came to me. Mm -hmm. Today I am on this uh, beautiful. Hello, Frida. Hi, Kelly. Becky. Uh, hi, Robert. The biggest play. I love bubbles. I think it is the most incredible thing. Bubbles bring joy. Bubbles are so playful. Bubblers, bubbles remind us of life that it's so clear and so fragile. That inside bubbles, we see the color of rainbow. That every time after rain, we see the color of rainbow and we are mesmerized. Mesmerized with what? With nature. Mesmerized with God. Mesmerized with the beauty that is within you. So I want you to explore more of you. And remember, whatever it has been hard, every memory of your past experiences, everything has set you up to this very day right here, right now. So the past is our history. And if you are ready to make that change within you, today, you can start a whole new story. With that, I want to say thank you for being here. My name is Lisa Bubari, and I am here to help you heal within because you matter. So let us evoke what was, embrace what is, the reality, your true self, good, bad, right, wrong, up, down, it doesn't matter. And let us evolve to what it is that we want to be. Transforming lives starts with you. God bless you. May the universal light be with you. And I'll see you next week. And I'm always here to answer any and all call. You can find me at healwithin.com. Please sign up. And by the way, did you know that every single episode for the last year and a half, it is on YouTube and you can find me, Lisa Bubari or Heal Within. Thank you. Until next week.